Say something. How you doing? Beautiful. What a great day. You know, it, you know what this, this this is what life is about. Is why you only have two choices, only two, and, and we make these a million times a day. You know, and all it is is just a choice, and we, and we keep on doing this all day long. And all we do is try not to make a, the same mistake twice. And this is all life is about. So we have fun, and we and, and you know I think we're offering a great service to other people, and the people are disconnected from everybody else. And this is the way it is what's happening. You know, everybody has one of these things. And, and this is how and this is how they communicate now. Instead of a verbal communication, interaction amongst the others. Human beings only survive with other interaction among other human beings. That's all. So tell me you have spent twenty years here. You have spent twenty years uh, twenty years outside. Yeah. Twenty years in the street. Yes, twenty years and in the street. You're never bothered by anybody? Uh, no. No, no, I, I've been moved off you know, like other spots, you know, but that's okay. I have another four spots ready to go at any given time. I have all the gear ready, it's in bags, sealed, and so all I can do is just go in the cell tent, whatever I want to do. If I want to really escape from society, I would. But you know what? It's not about escaping. It's about being inclusive, not exclusive. So you were in the military for 21 years. 21 years. And, uh, what made you decide to, to live this way? Okay, well, like I said, I, I never, I never had family. So because I never had family, it just came down to. So I, I, I did want to live in a cement box. Uh, I didn't want to live in a cement box. I like the freedom, of choice. And in Canada, it is one of the countries that we can do this freedom of choice. You know, and, and without, without being persecuted or harassed. But now it's come down to the point where now we're becoming an embarrassment to the city. You know, we just, we, we'd be here right during the Pan Am Games. We never even got stolen by the police at all. They, you know, you know have, have a good day, officer. It's so great. It's how old are you now? Hmm? Um, 58. 58? No. You look good. No. Yeah, You're in I good health? I keep in shape. You're in good health? Very good. Yeah, for my age, yeah. Okay. What do you do for food? Um... Like I said, I've got good pension. I don't worry about it. When I need food, I'll go buy it. So, you know, yeah, so, so a lot of them will go and eat healthy at a half decent restaurant in the area. So I, I really don't have problems. Are you it. getting a pension? Great pension. You're getting a pension now? Yes. Oh, I see. So. Yes. Post yeah. combat, you know, you can put that come under the, the Mental Health Act of the Canadian Armed Forces because it's a post combat PTSD and PTSD. It says in the article that you showed me that you read one book every two days. One book every two days. I, 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 can, I can read one book every day, but, uh, but I'll lose a lot of information of a speed reader. So, so I slow down my reading so I, can, so I get all the information. Like if it's a really good book like Clive Kessler, he's one of my most favorite authors because he takes a real life event and it puts it into a, a very, heartwarming story. You know, like right now they're talking about the terror and the Hermes, which they just found off Franklin, you know, like up in the, the part of the Franklin expedition. So, so these are the type of books I like. I like uh, non-fiction, more non-fiction than the fiction. You know, like you can hear Fly Cussler it does more non-fiction, but, but, he, but he takes real life events. And this, is a, this is what I love. I love the history of history of our country and history of any historical events. Uh, people, uh, I just finished reading one on Napoleon Bonaparte uh, on his on his early days, right from when he was a child, right up to the point where he died. Right, so so I love reading really about biography, about other people, past history, uh, World War II, uh, because all these events, they they say, when something happens in history, that always comes back and repeats itself. History repeats itself on a continuous basis. You don't mind if I put this on the internet? No, 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 no. Not at all? No, no, no. I have no problem. I wish you all the best. Okay. And you have a great life. It was too. nice. Beautiful. It was nice meeting you. And you too. Take care. I will. I will.